that was Inoa Satana. Um, at the beginning I played Isan's part, and then afterwards I played Samoth's part, both of which are played at the same time in the intro. In Isan's part, everything's played in triplets, so we need to think of every phrase that I play here in a grouping of three, because that's what a triplet is, it's three notes every beat. So the first three notes, we have an E minor triad. So I have my little finger on the 12th fret of low E, my middle finger on the 10th fret of A, and my index finger on the 9th fret of D. And what you want to do is pick one note after the other. You don't want to keep your fingers down on the fretboard. It's not, it's not a chord, it's an arpeggiated chord, meaning that you play a note of a chord, one note after the other. So there's our first three notes. Next three. It's all on the D string, 10, 9, 12. And now here comes the tricky bit. You've got this double slide thing going on. After the 12th fret of D, there's a pull off from the 10th fret to the 9th fret using your middle finger, then your index finger, or, or again, all on the D string. And then you slide down from the 9th fret to the 7th fret. From the start, so now we're here on the 7th fret of D, and then we slide down to the 6th fret. Uh, what we need to do is make these slides one motion. So from the 12th fret, 10th fret, pull off to the 9th, slide down to the 7th fret, then 6th. And you've got two hammer-ons. 8th fret on A, 10th fret on E. That's all the notes so far. And now come some arpeggiated chords. So after the hammer-ons, we play this chord four times round. So this is just a major dyad with an open D. So ninth fret on low E, eighth fret on A, and an open D. And the picking pattern is down, down, up through the strings. And we play through that four times. I'll do that again. One, two, three, four. And now comes some quick changing arpeggiated chords. So the first shape is this tritone dyad shape here. Seventh fret on low E, eight on A, and then an open D. <laughs> And then we have another major dyad, 10 on low E, 9 on A, open D. And we're going to keep these two notes as our bass notes through the next few chords. So it's 10, 9, open D, which we've played. And now we add the 7th fret on D. And then we move our finger up. And then we change a chord shape, so it's 10, 9, 9, and now I'm barring A and D together on the 9th fret. And then we play this major triad here, so it's 10, 9, and then 12 on D. So I'll play that section again. And then we have the little melody. So this melody is all played on the D string. Eight, nine, eight, eleven, nine, eight. So the whole riff. And then that loops. 
And now we have Samoth's part, which is a lot more simple. So it starts off with an open E. Then the second fret of A. Open E again. Slide to the fifth fret, then play the fourth fret on A. And then we have six, three, six on D. So that's it with tremolo picking, but just work out the notes first. So the next part of the riff, middle finger, seventh fret on E, middle finger, fifth fret on A, index finger, fourth fret D. Back to the fifth fret on D. Then back down to the low E on the seventh fret. Then again up to the fifth fret. And the ending. Similar to what was played before. Two, three, two, five, three, two. On low E. With tremolo picking. So the whole riff. So after you get the melody right, just work on your trailer picking. That was Riff of the Week number 9 in Oasatana.